If you want to build a morning routine that will start your day off right, keep watching. As it happens with many, our morning routines could definitely need some work. For most of us, we wake up after snoozing the alarm a couple of times or after a handful of alarms. We're miserable, we have no energy, we despise having to get up and move but an inch to this new day of work. Logically, to ease this pain, we get on our phones and go get some coffee. Now, if this sounds like your morning, you're not alone. Only very few try to do things like meditation, exercise, or daily journaling or prayer. You know, it's hard to do that stuff when you barely have the will to get out of a comfortable bed, pillow, and blankets. But there is a certain guilt that lurks in your conscience. A guilt bared by the ideal you that tells you that you should have done better. You should have not wasted that much time and that you need to get your life together. So then, we must ask, is there a better way? Is there a better way to get out of this rut? Is there a better way we can meet our ideal self in the morning? Well, perhaps, but that depends on you. Now, I'm not going to tell you to just get off your ass and stop being your whiny little self. I'm not sure that motivates many of us for very long, unless you're just built different. <clears throat> No, I will reveal to you what the main issue is. The main issue at our core is that we stopped enjoying our routines, or we never knew that was a possibility. Maybe it was long forgotten after that first day of kindergarten. Who knows? But I will say that the only answer that can solve this issue is a positive attitude. And yes, yes, I know it sounds cheesy, okay? I know, but just hear me out. You see, I reached this conclusion by total accident. This video was going to be how I made the perfect morning routine. It consisted of setting my phone out of reach, not using my phone until I was ready, and by doing the hardest things first. Now, the first attempt was a bit of a failure as I still felt tired and I took as long as I usually would with my phone to get ready. The second morning was worse. I had no energy and no will to keep going with this routine. But the third morning was the charm. You see, for whatever reason, my mind had the brilliant idea to make up a song relating to my routinely actions. For example, when I made my bed, I sang, and up it goes, and up it goes. Now tuck it up, tuck it up. <laughs> Now, if you ask me how the heck I came up with this, I tell you that the idea came from the acronyms and how they help you avoid mistakes and keep you productive like PEMDAS in math or cookie jar hands to shoot a basketball. As to why a song, it's honestly a blur. However, the results spoke for themselves. The singing was extremely effective at getting me to be productive and I finished well within the targeted time to get ready for the day. Intermission. Make sure you give a smash to the like button for more content in the future. Thank you. But that was not the only thing that made this morning special. What made it better was that I felt very good that morning and there was no coffee or amazing thing that happened. It was as if I was able to reach my ideal self that morning. In fact, it stuck with me so much that I tried to implement this on my workouts, which is something that I enjoy completing but is a pain to go through. And at first it was good, but then it wasn't. It became really hard to sing or hum when I could barely breathe or think during the workout. So I gave up on this idea. I came to the fast and jumpy conclusion that this didn't work as well as I thought it did. But I still wanted to feel the same way in the morning. I wanted to feel alive, happy, and still productive. So I started to think how to better grasp this wisdom. And the conclusion I reached was to just try to enjoy what you're doing and have a little fun if you can. Just because something is not as fun doesn't mean you have to make it a pain in the butt to go through. So try to enjoy yourself doing your stuff. The first step is to stop intentionally making things worse for yourself. This means no unnecessary complaining or negativity. Remind yourself that whatever task you are doing has a purpose and deep down, a good thing for you. Don't look at it as your adversary, but your friend that will make you and your ideal self meet. Make brushing your teeth as fun or less miserable as you can by truly wanting to enjoy yourself. Not only will this keep you productive and happy, it will keep you away from your phone, which acts as a fungus for time in the morning. I hope this helped introduce some ideas that will keep you motivated and productive. 
If you want to know more about productivity and checklists, click on the video on your screen. Either way, stay sharp and prove me gang.